All right, last, last part is part four. We're going to look at word problems. Um, in 1999, Duke Electric charged customers a monthly charge of $9 plus 8.5 cents per kilowatt hour if they use less than 400 kilowatt hours each month. Or $9 plus 6.5 kilowatt hours if they use over 400 in the month. So what is the charge for using 300? So which one are you going to do? You're going to first have to set up a piecewise function for this. So you first have a monthly charge of $9 plus 8.5 cents. And we write 8.5 cents as 0 0.085. And then X per kilowatt hour. And that's for values that are between 0 and 400. So between 0 is less than or equal to X is less than 400. And that's where 300 falls in. So I'm going to take 9, and I'm going to add to that 0 0.085, and multiply it by the 300. So now you're going, you can plug this into your calculator to get a value. So you're going to say 9 plus 0 0.085 times 300. And that's going to cost you $34.05. or 50 cents, sorry, yeah, 50 cents. The second piece, what is the charge for using 700 kilowatt hours? Well, that's over 400. So that's going to be $9 plus 6.5 cents, which is 0.65 times X. So you're going to say 9 plus 0 0.065 times 700. And again, plug that in. So 9 plus 0 0.065 times 700. And you get $54.50. The last one, we're going to then write the piecewise function out. So f of x equals 9 plus 0 0.085x if zero, it's between 0 and 400. And then I'm going to use the other function if it's over 400. Oh, whoops, I should not have a greater than or equal sign in that first interval because it says less than 400. So this should just be a less than symbol. Okay. So when it says if C is the monthly charge, Write C as a function of X, that's what they mean. They want you to write it out as a piecewise function. Just doesn't say write a piecewise function, that's what it means when it says that. Okay, looking at number 24, um, Chico's My Favorite Store. Issues coupons that give you a discount that depends on the amount you purchase. The coupon is good for $10 off a purchase of at least $50. 25 off a purchase of at least $100 or $50 off a purchase of 200 or more. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at um, how much it would be for $69. So I would get not $10 off, but I would get $25 off. So I would take 69 and I would subtract 25 from that. So 69 minus 25 is 44. So I would pay $44. Okay, so the second one is $214. So I, I would get $50 off a purchase of 200 or more. So I'm going to spend at least $200. I'm going to actually spend $214. So I'm going to get $50 off of that. So $214 minus $50 is going to be $164. Oops. And now I'm going to have to write this as a function, so f of x. Notice I have three different situations. I'm going to get $50 off. So I'm going to, the amount I spend, I'm going to get, I'm um, sorry, $10 off. And that's if I spend between 0 and $50. Oops, I need my x. 
So if I spend between 0 and 50, I'm going to take that original amount and subtract 10. If I spend between 50, not including 50, right? Because I already included 50 over here. So 50 is less than x is less than or equal to 100. So if I, sp I'm not 100, excuse me, 200. So my next interval goes up to $200. Then I'm going to get 25 off. My last, I'm going to get $50 off if I spend over 200. So x is greater than 200. Okay, so for number 25, then you want to write the rule. So f of x, you want it between 0 and 2300. So your tax is going to be 15%, which is 0.15x. And then that's if, oh uh, no, this is wrong. I'm just going to see the next video for number 25.